photos and stories from New Zealand are always popular. You know, it's one of the most beautiful places in the world and it just translates really well to visual content. My tips for taking good photos for New Zealand to really resonate and connect with people would be to share things that you're, you really care about and what interests you the most, whether that's mountains or, or skiing or being on the lake. For me, the, the content that people really care about is always does the best because it's obvious. One of the questions I get asked the most is what camera do you use? And I'm like, well, you know, I got up to 50,000 followers on Instagram just using my iPhone. So I think you can take great shots with all sorts of cameras. But for me, I think the biggest trick is your eye. The first photo we take is the one that's really obvious, right? So then I always suggest to people to like think beyond that. Maybe get on the ground, climb up on something, you know, stand behind a tree and shoot through the leaves or, you know, just try and create some kind of cool composition or play around. I consistently go to places like Mount Cook, Aoraki Mount Cook, which is so beautiful and special. And I mean, come on, you have to work hard to take a bad photo there. I love being in the mountains, but I also love being in the forest and by these beautiful blue um, alpine rivers that we have here. 